Okay, following on from the previous video, with the brake system fault on the Citroen C5X7, we found out that the problem was the uh, brake fluid level sensor, uh, this sensor right here, uh, which, as we saw, was solved by, unfortunately, buying a new brake fluid reservoir, because the sensor cannot be removed from the reservoir and uh, be replaced. So uh, we've, uh, we bought a new brake fluid reservoir, and as we've seen, uh, we've connected the uh, cable to the new uh, switch uh, sensor, and uh, by turning it upside down, we verified that the problem was actually the old switch, and we can basically have the system like that. We can have the new reservoir, we can have the new switch, basically, connected to the wiring, and the car will still operate uh, normally, uh, without any problems. And we can literally leave it like that, and have the old brake fluid uh, reservoir in place, and the car will still work fine. So that gives me an idea. What if I could replace only the switch without removing the old brake fluid reservoir? Because think about it. The brake fluid level sensor or switch is there to notify the driver, the user, of a low level in the brake fluid in case there is a leak or for any other reason uh, in case the uh, fluid uh, the level of the fluid fell down that switch will notify the driver of the low brake fluid level however if the brake system works fine if there are no leaks in the braking system that switch is not really necessary. However, the car has this switch, the electric system, the ABS system basically, has this switch incorporated in the system, in its system. Okay? The ABS unit needs to see whatever this sensor sees in order to operate properly. But if the user is taking care of his car properly and he is uh, checking his brake fluid level uh, frequently and uh, he makes sure that there is enough brake fluid in the reservoir to cover the needs both of the braking system and of the clutch right here if don't know if you can see where is it where is it where is it yeah way down there the outlet for the clutch Okay, so if the user is monitoring the uh, brake fluid level frequently, then there is really no need for the switch uh, for the user, for the driver. The switch uh, will still be there for the ABS in order for the ABS to work properly, uh, but the driver doesn't really need that switch to notify him of anything because he will make sure that there is enough brake fluid in the reservoir. So that gives me the idea of changing only the switch with the new, with the new brake fluid reservoir and leaving the old brake fluid reservoir in place. Which means if we could find a place to put that new brake fluid reservoir with the new switch somewhere around here so that we can connect the wiring to the ABS module. That would mean that the ABS would see the brake fluid level normally as normal. It would read a normal level for the brake fluid and it would, and it would work fine we wouldn't have to go into the hustle of changing the uh, 
brake fluid reservoir, removing that old one, which works perfectly fine, and uh, installing the new one. We wouldn't have to go into all that hustle. And the car will work normally. So basically, all I'm saying is that I would like to install this new switch somewhere in this area so that I could connect the wiring and fool the ABS into thinking that there is enough uh, uh, fluid in the reservoir because there is, there is always enough uh, brake, fluid, uh, brake fluid in the reservoir without going into the hustle of changing, actually installing the new reservoir. So that's what I'm going to do. Only thing is, there's not enough space here. So what, what if we could check for a for another alternative, let's say we try to find space to hide the new reservoir, which will be sitting upside down. Yeah? What do you think? I say this space is not bad, so I'll try to put it down there. Let's see what I can do. So basically this is roughly what I was talking about. Removed. I removed the old uh, sensory cable from the connector, rerouted it from here through here and connected it to the new switch in the new reservoir and just left the new reservoir lying there in that small space which apparently is enough to accommodate another brake fluid reservoir placed like this and that should work uh, we'll of course check if the uh, cover of the fuse box uh, is able to be placed uh, in position, of course, but roughly that's my idea. That's what I had in mind. First off, let's see if that works at all, shall we? So let's just go in and start her up and see if that works. Sorry for the blackout. Everything will be clear in a moment. So, oil level correct, let's try and start her up, no fault messages. Front door open, and as we can see, no fault messages. Let's try to release the handbrake. Parking brake released. Be careful, you have a door open. All right. So, parking brake applied. Let's apply it again. Normal operation and no fault messages. I'd say that worked. Well, okay, for the record, let's turn off the engine and stay here again if the parking brake works normally yep parking brake works normally no faults no problems whatsoever so just for the record I'd say that I will be monitoring this condition right here to see if it works at all if it causes any problems so all I have to do is plug those two outlets up here so that no dust will go in the new uh, reservoir and uh, it should be fine and the other thing I want to do is 
check if this cover is can fit into position so that break so that fuse box cover should be fine without any problems come on dear oh it needs some sweet talk sometimes sometimes you need to be gentle with them and they cooperate if you're gentle with them they cooperate mm -hmm. just like that that works fine that worked fine from that side from what i can feel and let's see down here the cable for the connector works fine it comes out from that opening down there and let's see if it is correctly in position yeah yeah it comes out from that opening for for that wire loom for the engine and it works just fine so i'll be monitoring the whole situation uh, and if something comes up well i'll mention it i'll write an update in the comments other than that I say problem solved. Well, thanks for joining me. Hope to see you in a future video. Take care, everybody.